with the last couple of weeks being extremely slow, we've decided to head up to somewhere that we never seem to fail. I mean, now that we've said that, we're probably at a blank, but we're going to Beadnell. It's six o'clock in the morning, I'm outside Michael's house, and he slept in. The aim was to get there for just after seven o'clock, which is two hours before low water, so we can get straight on the rocks. But depending on how fast Michael moves, we're gonna be late. Away! Give him some abuse in the comment section for us, please. Thank you. It's now quarter past six and Ginger Gandalf still hasn't made his arrival. I'm not happy. He's getting pushed in the water. Hey! Arsehole. 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 Go on then, Michael. Do the honours. Hi! We're going to run bollocks. I'm in my happy place. <laughs> As I've said in the car, the last few weeks have been terrible. So we've came somewhere to maximise chances of getting some fish on camera. Where are we, Michael? We're at Beadnell. Uh, very early start. I slept in, as you can see from footage from whatever Tom. Disappointed. So. Not angry, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, my alarm didn't go off. Uh, we're here, we're set up. It's quick. It's a quick trip today, but we are at the furthest we ever travel. So. No, not, not anymore. We're no, no, because we're back. We're back, right, yeah. <laughs> the second furthest place we travel to. We got on here an hour and 45 minutes before low water. It's a massive tide today, so we should be able to stay on for maybe two and a half, three hours after as well. But we'll keep an eye on it. But I haven't had a nibble yet, and I'm not very happy. I mean, all the way along, I was asking Tom if he'd caught anything. He hadn't even got around the water. How long's a baby in the water? Five minutes. You should add some by now. I should add three. Aye. Right. So. But we'll keep us updated and get you keep us posted off. Do you like my hats, by the way, folks? Swag! Swag! Uh, they're sold out at the moment, but we'll have more in next week. So you can buy them on the Facebook page. They're £10 if you collect them from where, or £12.50 delivered. We've also got box stickers. They're £2 collected or £2.50 delivered. We've got big box stickers. And they're £4 or £4.50 delivered. So, yeah, swag! First catch of the day, the rob is in the water for about 10 seconds. It is a crab, ha! But it's not one we normally catch up here. It's a velvet crab, I think. Yeah, it's a velvet. It's a swimmer crab, as you can tell by the flat back legs. Let's get some fish. Hopefully. Well, Tom's just missed an absolute thunderous bite. He got it snack hooked in and got hung up straight away. Typical beetle, but it looked like it was a big fish. So the pollock might still be running here. We don't know. I'm going to get back to these in a little bit. Right, quick update for you. So, uh, I've lost one set of gear. Tom's had a couple of bites but not connected. Um, Someone's getting really weird pulls on the rod and then you lift in and you're in a hole. So don't know what that is. Hopefully we can find out. I've now got a big rod out. Same distance, just down the side. But hopefully if I can get one of them, whatever it is that's doing that, I might be able to bully it out with the big rod, which I can't do with the little rod. But we'll see what happens and hopefully we'll have a fish for you soon. My happy place today. I'm two rigs down, camera's about to fall over. Uh, two rigs down, we've had one bite between the two, uh, one decent bite anyway. Uh, we think it's crabs and lobsters just yorking winter holes. It's rubbish! 
It's not fun. Well, I'm trying to do this to show that there's more to fish in the northeastern <laughs> cod, and apparently all there is is cod. I had a thunderous bite on my rod before, like it doubled in half. When I struck into it, I was in a snag, and that was the last piece of action I had. That was an hour and a half ago. I had a, a weird little pull, and then I was in a snag, and I lost everything. So I, I re-geared up, and I did the same, and the same thing happened again. And guess what, folks? I lost everything. So I've just changed all the line on my fixed spool, and I've just had a weird little pull, and I'm pretty sure I'm in a snag, and I'm going to lose everything. What we like to do with the goo is put a hole in the bag of bait. Michael, show the bait. Open the bottle of goo. Michael, show the goo. Insert goo in the bag. Michael, show it. And squeeze. <laughs> it's time to break out the big goons. And then, like, like you would with a bag of salt and shake crisps. Then taste it for seasoning. Ready? I'm regretting doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually do it there as well? Oh, you're going to have a brown laser. <laughs> Tastes good. Yeah. Don't eat squid and sea goo, people. It makes your ass come out. <laughs> <laughs> Not my wisest to prove that. Is it? Go and try this at home, folks. Was it seasoned? It was beautiful. I'm sorry, Beadnell, for cheating on you with Balkyrie. Everything I've ever said <laughs> about Balkyrie being my happy place. It was all just to keep Balkyrie happy that day. Beadnell, you are secretly still my happy place. Please be nice to her. And stop being the gear hungry bitch that you are today. I've had two bites all day. That's two, two bites that's, all day! That's two more bites than I've had. I refuse to blank at Beadnell. I will drown here before I blank at Beadnell. I'll be fishing way high. <laughs> Week three of very little fish. We have tried everything so far. We've tried seagoo. We've tried all our baits. Squid, bluey, lugwim. Couldn't get ragwim. Probably would have caught if I had ragwim. Probably would have caught if I had ragwim. So now we're going to go to the other side. We're going to we're going to sacrifice a bluey to the fishing gods. Do you think I should just cut it there and? No, we'll pay for that. Put it back. We're not gonna we're not gonna sacrifice a bluey to the fishing gods. Can we sacrifice a limpet? Do a limpet. But no, that's a living, that's a living creature, no. Right, we're not gonna make a sacrifice to the fishing gods. Do a dance. We do a dance. No, no we, we, can't can't. Do a, we can't do a dance because <laughs> we're blanked. We we'll, we we'll only do dances when we're not blanked. I've tried being French to the fish. That didn't work. I tried Scottish, that ended up being Welsh. I've shouted at the water. We shouted at the water. Um Running out of ideas now, folks. We've never blanked here before. We're going to get pushed off in about 45 minutes to an hour. I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I genuinely, I, I don't know what to do with my life yet. You're the tallest, so you're to get lowered into the water by your ankles, you've got a better reach. So you're going to go in head first, try and pull something up. Right, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Well, that was terrible. Yep. Yeah. Don't even know what to say about it. We've had a bad couple of weeks, so we thought we'd come to Beadnell because we we'll always do well here. We're going to always get something. You see my bum chin now that I've shaved, look. Yeah, I know. Not today, though. <laughs> no, we can't see a bum chin today. Today, we didn't catch a fish. Nah. When we first set up, I caught a crab, put it back out with a bit of squid on, and I got a, like, a massive bite. My rod was doubled over. Struck into that, snagged, and then that was pretty much the last of the action for three hours. Yeah, I, I cast out, um, snagged. Cast out, <laughs> snagged. snagged. Uh, then I cast out and I got one back. And then I snagged. It was just, it was like that all, oh, that's the worst I've ever seen that fish for being snagged. Yeah, that was terrible. Something was pulling into holes, crabs. I think it was just crabs all over. One positive from the day is I got my rod back, my DC6, which is the second one I've had built. I got that back from Michael Small yesterday. It's beautiful. And it's awesome. Absolutely mint. Any rod building needs, repairs, anything like that, contact Michael. He's on my Facebook group. He's on the group, 
He's on Facebook, obviously, Michael Small, and he'll do anything, and he's very, very well priced. He'll tailor anything to your needs. You can choose your eyes, decals, colours, threads, that sort of thing. Another positive from today is he's fetching hats. Swag. Do you, do, where, where, did you, where can you purchase a fetching hat like that, Tom? Available on Facebook, Rod and Pollock's Group Fishing. Yes, we are currently sold out at the moment, but we are expecting another batch in next week. You can also get your tackle box stickers there. And uh, that Gen is all. General how not to fish. Yeah, generally how not to fish. We try to give tips, don't listen to them because we're useless. <laughs> Never go where we've went because for the past no. three weeks it's been it's be, This shouldn't have happened today and I'm still in denial that it has even happened. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm going to wake up and you're going to be at my door again. Tell them as I've slept in again. Uh, are you still dreaming? It's, it shouldn't have happened. It to be fair, the conditions were good. There wasn't much swell. The, the pressure was right. The tide was perfect. The water was a little bit murky, but I thought we might have picked up some coddling. No. <laughs> no. no. Well, see, we're just sitting staring at the mark now. Yeah, looking lovingly at it. No. The crew mistress I've that yeah. Hear it! It's rubbish! Oh, and one other thing. Seagoo. Don't taste it. It's not very nice to eat. <laughs> it's great for fishing. <laughs> It doesn't go nice on your finger. I'm gonna hide my face ass. Yeah, your face ass. Yeah, yeah, I've got a proper bum chin like. It, it, makes, it makes it even worse that the sun's there, so now you can see the shadow of the crack. <laughs> Come on! Oh, your ass face. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, we'll leave it as that. We'd like to thank our sponsors as usual. Bait Mate Fishing Solutions. Soul and Seagoo. Moonglow Trackers. Moonglow Trackers. Not uh, the other one. That not should, the other one. That should not be named. Tackle Trays. I like Tackle Trays, thank you very much. And when we went to the tackle shop yesterday, we have some good stuff coming. Yes. But for now, that's a secret. It's a, it's a big secret that you've just give away the secret. So it's like a pre-secret secret. They don't know what the secret is yet. I suppose. They know that there's a secret. There's a secret. But they don't know what the secret is. It's a pre-secret secret. A secret secret is still a secret. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Tight lines, everybody. May the fish be with you.